Now, I have not, like I said, I, there's this great fear with flu shot, there's this great fear of getting sick and dying from it. How people are just exaggerating on, oh, you know, you'll get the flu, you're gonna get horribly sick and then die, because there's so many people dying. You know what happens when you take a vaccine, right? Alright, let's explain it. I should know this because this happens to me who, who is, you know, who's had a good immune system starting in ninth grade. This is how it goes. The flu shot is actually not a vaccine. Now, it does work like one, but it contradicts itself. It's supposed to work like one, but like I said, contradict itself. Now when you take the flu shot, it's in order to get it's in order to uh it's in order to help you defend it's in order to help your body defend the flu. In reality, when you take the flu shot, you're just taking in they're just putting in injecting you with uh dead flu cells. So once it's inside, your body your immune system is gonna go fight that. That's what I'm wondering, that's what they told us. But then whenever someone gets a flu shot, they get sick. And if anyone knows someone who took the flu shot and then I know we got horribly sick and then died. That's very odd. Because a vaccine is supposed to cure you from these kind of di these kind of diseases like the flu, right? But yet, when you take that vaccine, you feel horrible. And yet when you take that vaccine, you get sick. And then you get even worse. Shouldn't know because I took that shot. I took that shot back in 2009, I believe, or was it 2000? I don't even remember. Somewhere around there. And then the whole spiteful thing. Well, people were taking vaccines for that too. People were dying from it, ironically. Yet, there was, yet there was a possibility where I was had all the symptoms for it. Then I realized, wait a second, those tacos from Taco Bell, I mean, not from Taco Bell, from Jack in the Box, kept on eating those because, you know, I was going to the damn, new, I mean, the damn uh, mental hospital, over at the, not the mental hospital, the mental, you know, the, the place where the psychiatrists and therapists are, over at Kaiser, Norwalk, so I was going over there, and then my dad always gave me those two tacos because, you know, I thought, oh, you know, my husband just yeah, they, they were a horrible thing to eat. Uh, I remember that night I woke up and I started throwing up like crazy. And then, uh... And then I was always eating this rice and beans, you know? Normal stuff. So I was wondering what the hell's going on. And then sometimes I would just end up throwing up. Like this one time where they end up making a cake. Of a friend of mine. But that night I, I threw up everything. It was horrible, like, oh, God. But then I started noticing something very strange. Later on, I, I noticed that my mom kept on like, using that powder on the, you know, using the specific powder on the rice. I found out she was using that corn seasoning. You know, the one with salt, sugar, monosodium, glutenate. I explained a lot why I was kept getting nosebleeds all the damn time. Why my sister would get nosebleeds because she kept on using that damn chemical. She kept on using that damn seasoning. You know, tell her no, don't put it, don't put it. She goes, oh. Oh, it, it's very good seasoning. It's very, very good. And your sister wants it. Your sister... I said, I don't want it. Your sister... My sister is not the one that I'm eating this. No, your sister wants it, so I'm going to put this on there. Well, no matter what, like I said, I can't decide for myself. I can't do what I want to do. <sighs> so now, it's very odd how these vaccines and all these are to cure someone, but yet they actually kill someone. Next, she can screw someone over horribly. Now, I have to stick in a stable, stable mind by not being myself. So, I will, I will do my best to just eat as healthy as possible. You know, well, sadly, I prefer the vegetarian way, but you know, I could go ahead and eat, eat and all that, eat meat and all that, and to just try to just stay as. Try to stay as happy as possible. Now, the very odd thing is that, uh... Now, 
no matter how how much I try to do that my mom's always there to fuck up everything cause you know she always has to attack me for some stupid thing little thing and then if I get sick if I get like with the flu or anything like that I'm better off shooting myself in the head cause my psychotic lunatic of a mom is just gonna sh go ahead and shove me with it's just gonna oh look take this me medication take this also take this also medication oh you know a friend of mine told me about this medication why don't you take it as well She's gonna be throwing all this medication at me and I'll get even worse and worse now AIDS there's so much suspicion with that disease so much suspicion alright if anyone knows how how the whole AIDS epidemic started it started in the center of Africa you know right right in the equator right in the equator of Africa and now when you look at the map it was a severe it was a severe uh, infection it was a severe uh, case of it and throughout all that area in the center everything was red I don't know if you want to go look for the Wikipedia map of it or there's probably another map of it but check out how the the, the spread of AIDS so now there's something very odd about this now it's say look there and people know about this because for some reason they have a map about the about the whole spread of this disease we should stop it right it spreads and what makes this even worse is that it's right in the equator which in whatever it's in the round the equator basically can be basically the equator the line of the equator can sustain life any kind of life that's what I was taught and now it spread and then it spread even more and then next you know it spread throughout all of Africa so using some sort of common sense maybe we should make some sort of blockade maybe we should just at least somehow find some sort of way to get rid of this disease or you know cure it it spreads the US Europe who knows where else it went to oh disease epidemic disease spread now AIDS is basically as simple as this your own you once you get infected with it it starts as HIV which is just the beginning process of it then it goes to AIDS which basically affects your immune system so it makes your immune system attack itself so you have no defenses you don't have no, no immune system and so if you get like a flu or whatever it is you die now another thing too there's people with diabetes, high blood pressure cancer and all these different things be it the survivors a disease that kills that has no cure and yet people are surviving from this now this is where I'm going with this topic but I think I might also put in I already put in science, I already put in the whole biological, you know, the whole medical. Let's put in something else in there. Now, I'll continue this in the next part.